Thank you, Yoda, for that lovely mandolin introduction. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hair Center live sing-along. I am so sorry to keep you waiting. We did have some technical difficulties, as you do sometimes in this digital era. Uh, thanks for bearing with us. And here we are. And glad to see you all again. My name is John Benjamin. I am a teacher naturalist with Paris Center for Conservation Education. And it is my great pleasure and privilege to once again be leading a little live sing-along with you all. So I hope you're ready to do some singing and maybe learn a few things. And today we have a special theme. We're going to be talking all about pollination which is a very special relationship between flowers and different kinds of animals, especially little flying insects like bees that visit flowers. Now, raise your hand if you've seen a little insect like a bee or a butterfly visiting a flower. I see most of you raising your hands right now. Cool. So you all know that insects love flowers, they're buzzing around, and that is a very important part of nature that we can all see this time of year in the springtime when the pollinators, the little animals that visit flowers, are buzzing around going from flower to flower. So on today's Harris Center Sing Along, we're going to focus in on pollination and learn more about this amazing process and some of these amazing little animals that we call pollinators that are the ones that visit flowers to get nectar and pollen. Those are the things they're looking for to eat that are inside the flower. Here are some nice rhododendron flowers from the bush outside where I live. I'll be showing you some more flowers as we go along and also talking a little bit more about pollinators. Now, let's see, for our first song today, I would love to lead you in a little tune that I wrote for one of the schools that I work with as a naturalist and teacher for the Harris Center, Greenfield Elementary School in Greenfield, New Hampshire. I hope there might be some Greenfield students uh, listening because you guys were my guinea pigs for starting out a lot of these nature songs. And uh, this is one that I wrote for that class, second graders, Miss um, Aborn's class in Greenfield. So uh, this is a tune that I've actually continued to improve on, but it is called the bee song, but also the nickname is buzz, 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 because that's what we keep singing in the chorus. And you know, before I even start singing the bee song, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about bees and some of the things we're gonna be singing about in the bee song, AKA buzz, buzz, buzz. So let's talk a little bit about what bees are doing in the spring. So, oh my gosh, look at this amazing, very lifelike flower. Now, I know you might think this is a real flower, but in fact, this is one that I just made out of some paper and other crafts. Now, this flower is going to demonstrate a little bit about what pollination is all about. So, now we've been talking about animals that visit uh, flowers in the springtime coming to get food. They're looking for what's inside the flower. There's a really sweet, sugary liquid called nectar, and they drink that up real good for them. They love it. And there's also little grains, little tiny white, uh, excuse me, more like yellow and orange grains. And they are inside the flower on these special parts of the flower right here that we sometimes call the stamen, and they are producing these little powdery grains. In fact, oh my gosh, you can see some of it right here. It's not really pollen, but it looks like pollen, so it's good enough for now. Now, you might have a little buzzing a bumblebee coming along, looking for something good to eat. It finds a flower. It knows there's delicious things inside. It sees the bright colors of the petal. It comes buzzing in, goes down inside to get all that tasty food, nectar, and pollen, and as it's going in there, Moving around, it comes out and oh my gosh, look what's on that fuzzy bumblebee. It has the pollen stuck to its body and it's carrying that pollen all around. It's buzzing around, flying through the air to other flowers, guess what? So sooner or later, it's gonna come on another flower, very lifelike flower of the same species and it comes in looking for some more food and it transfers that pollen actually to this extra little part here called the pistil. And then as it's going in to get some more delicious pollen and nectar, it 
moves that pollen along, flies off to find more food, and then the magic of pollination happens because the pollen actually travels down inside the flower and it transforms the flower into dun 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 seeds, often with a fruit around it. Raise your hand if you like to eat apples or pears or cherries. I love all those fruits and they're all possible the magic of pollination because the little insects like bees visit the flowers, transfer the pollen, and then they cause the flowers to grow into those fruits that we love to eat. So bees are what we're going to be singing about in this next song, and especially honeybees. And in fact, I actually have a real honeybee to show you. That was a, a puppet, of course, there. Gotta love puppets. Nothing wrong with a little puppet fun, but here is a real honeybee right here. A little tiny one. It's not alive anymore. It's a little specimen there. And these honeybees are one of the very important pollinators that I bet most of us have seen flying around and visiting flowers. So here's a little song about honeybees I'd like to teach you. And it talks all about uh, how they live and the different members of the colony and some other fun things. So we're gonna try to do our little lyric setup, just like last time here. Oh, and uh, our, our little assistant, of course, is once again Yoda. So Yoda, you want, you want to poke your head in real quick and just show us that you're still with us here? Thanks, Yoda. He's still got that Mando. He's rocking that thing. I mean, honestly, he should be teaching me at this point. Um, let's see here. So let's try to get our lyric set up. Oh, let's pull that around, super fancy, just like last week, uh, or last, whatever it was, a month, <laughs> last time. So buzz, 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 the bee song. That's what we're gonna be singing together here. And um, let's see if I can get that nice and balanced there. Cool, all right. I'm trying to remember what key this is in. It's in D, is that a good key? Nah, I don't like D. Let's do it in G, gotta love G. All right, so the chorus goes like this. One, two, three, four. Buzz, 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 I'm a little buzzing bee. Flying in the sunshine to the flowers that I see. Gathering nectar and pollen, oh what a tasty treat. And pollinating plants so they can make, clap, 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 those fruits and seeds. Nice. So you gotta have those claps every time. There's a little pause in the chorus where, so they can make clap, 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 those fruits and seeds. Nice. All right, so let me get my lyrics so I can make sure I don't forget any parts of the song. We've got how many verses to the song? I think four verses. Uh, so our, our assistant will be moving the verses as we go along. And I think the chorus is pretty good. I think we got that one down. Let's start with verse one together. So thank you, Yoda. All right, verse one is a little bit about an introduction to the honeybee. So let's go to verse one together, and it's, it goes like this in the melody. All the verses have the same melody, so I think you'll catch on pretty quick. Flying through the meadow from flower to flower to flower. Oh, I'm getting a text here. Can you not hear what I'm saying right now? I hope you can hear what I'm saying. I'll try to be clear. Let's try verse one again. You can see it all. Sorry about that. Real high tech setup we got here, folks. Thanks for bearing with us. Flying through the meadow from flower to flower to flower. Drinking up that nectar takes a lot of working hours. Gather pollen up in orange blobs called baskets all day long. I'm a little worker, honeybee. Please listen to my song. All right, there we go. It's all about the baskets, those little blobs they have on their legs. I bet you've seen that. Let's try the chorus. One, two, three, four. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a little buzzing bee. Flying in the sunshine to the flowers that I see. Gathering nectar and pollen. Oh, what a tasty treat. And pollinating plants so they can grow those fruits and seeds. Let's do verse two. It's all about the different members of the colony. All right, so let's see what we got here. One, two, three. I, here we go. <laughs> With all my sister worker bees, I live inside a hive. 
Our <laughs> working all together is how our colony survives. Our mother is the queen. She lays 2,000 eggs a day. The male bees are the drones, and that's our family. Hooray! Here's the chorus. One, two, three, four. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a little buzzing bee. Flying in the sunshine to the flowers that I see. Gathering nectar and pollen. Oh, what a tasty treat. And pollinating plants so they can grow. Those fruits and seeds. All right, let's try to get a little better for the third verse here. Sorry, I was getting a little sloppy there. It's all about the life of a bee. So how it's born as an egg, and then it comes out as a little larva, and then it turns into a pupa, and then finally it turns into an adult bee. So let's learn about that. One, two, three. I started as an egg. The queen laid me in a cell. I hatched into a larva, and the workers fed me well. I turned into a pupa, and my body was transformed. They call it metamorphosis, and that's how bees are formed. Here's the chorus. One, two, three. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a little buzzing bee. Flying in the sunshine to the flowers that I see. Gathering nectar and pollen. Oh, what a tasty treat. And pollinating plants so they can grow those fruits and seeds. One more verse, verse four. Bees are so important for the plants and for the trees. Moving pollen between flowers is how plants can make their seeds. Of course, honey bees make honey, but bees do so much more, don't you see? Making fruits and veggies grow so people have enough to eat. Here's the chorus. One, two, three, four. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a little buzzing bee. Flying in the sunshine to the flowers that I see. Gathering nectar and pollen. Oh, what a tasty treat. And pollinating plants so they can grow. Those fruits and seeds. You know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like one more chorus really loud. One, two, three, four. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a little buzzing bee. Flying in the sunshine to flowers that I see. Gathering nectar and pollen. Oh, what a tasty treat. And pollinating plants so they can grow. Those fruits and seeds. Wonderful singing, everyone. I hope you enjoyed Buzz, 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 the bee song, and learned a little bit about honeybees and how they live and how they are so important as pollinators. And I should mention that there are a lot more different kinds of bees than just honeybees out there. A lot of people don't realize how many species of bees there are. I'll show you a couple more here that I have that I brought from the Harris Center's collection. Here's a nice little fuzzy guy. I bet you've seen these real furry, I don't think you can see that very well. Here we go. A real furry, fuzzy bee, of course. A lot of you might know this is a bumblebee. I've been seeing a lot of them on my flowers outside my home. And there's different kinds of bumblebees, but they're always very furry, good for picking up that pollen, carrying it around. Let's see, you know, some bees are actually quite small. And you know what? Not all bees can sting you. Some bees you have to be careful about because they will sting in self-defense only if they feel threatened. But lots of bees can't sting at all. Like this tiny, teeny little bee. I don't know if you can see this little little bugger here. This is called a sweat bee. Now, sweat bees come sometimes in beautiful colors like green and blue, almost like rainbow colors. And sometimes they'll land on you in the summertime if you're a little sweaty because they like to get a little bit of an extra salty snack from your sweat. And they might just land on you to have a little snack. Don't freak out. They're not going to sting you. They're just there to hang out and, you know, have a little bit of sweat. No big deal. So sweat bees, keep an eye out for them. One of my favorite little bees and also an important pollinator. And there are 
thousands of different kinds of bees, many different species, not just honeybees. And gosh, I could talk about them all day, but we only have a little more time. Because we started a bit late, I'm going to go past 1230 if anybody wants to stick around for a little while. Uh, and let's see what I want to talk about next here. Let's show you, I'm just a quick picture here of a honeybee, actually. That'd be fun to show you the baskets of pollen in the song. I mentioned how bees collect the pollen in baskets is the word we use. You can see that little orange blob on the honeybee's legs there. And that is all the pollen that it takes back to the colony, the big family of bees, and that is important food for them. But like I mentioned in the song, it also carries that pollen from flower to flower, and that is what causes the magic of pollination to happen. So those flowers can actually transform into fruits and seeds that can grow into new plants and gives us food. If we didn't have little bees and other pollinators, well, we wouldn't have a lot to eat as human beings. So I'm pretty grateful to have all those bees out there. And I hope you'll get out and observe bees, look for them, observe flowers, see if you can find them buzzing around. And you know what? There are lots of other pollinators too, certainly not just bees. We've got all kinds of cool things out flying around visiting flowers. We've got very cool moths you might see sometimes. Here's what's called a sphinx moth. And these guys get pretty big. They almost look like hummingbirds. They're so big. There's a lot of different kinds and you might see them flying to flowers and also pollinating. You might see all different kinds of butterflies in the daytime. In fact, here's kind of a cool collection of butterflies from the hair center. I'll show you real quick. You might recognize, let's say some moths in there too. You probably recognize the monarch butterfly. They're up in the corner. It's a very famous butterfly, but all different species, so many different kinds of butterflies. And when it comes to pollinators, we need to have so many different kinds out there in order to do that important job of pollinating all those different kinds of flowers. So uh, it's not just bees, but of course, bees are one of the most amazing pollinators and always a lot of fun to observe. Now, let's see, friends. I think we're, it's time for another song here together. Uh, this is going to be a brand new song that I really kind of just came up with in the last couple days. And really, maybe even today was a big part of the song. Uh, and this is a little song that is about flowers. So I've been having a lot of fun observing all of the wildflowers blooming in my backyard and in my neighborhood and in the forest. And I bet a lot of you have noticed flowers blooming all around you as well. And that's one of my favorite parts of springtime, all the different colors and shapes and kinds of flowers. And all those flowers are trying to attract, guess what? Buzz, 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 buzz pollinators, bees and butterflies and beetles and flies, and sometimes even hummingbirds. They are also pollinators too. This is not a real hummingbird, this is just a puppet, so don't worry, I didn't actually catch one and bring it inside. Um, let's see here. So this song is gonna be a little bit about a few kinds of wildflowers now. You know, there are so many kinds of wildflowers that we can see out there, but this one is has a really simple chorus and it's a, a kind of a call and response chorus. I think you might uh, enjoy it. Now this is called the Wildflower Song. I couldn't call it Wildflowers because Tom Petty already wrote a pretty good song called Wildflowers. I didn't wanna, you know, be confused with that. So it's the Wildflower Song and um, I think it's gonna be in C is what I decided. That was a good key. I think we all can appreciate the key of C. It's the people's key sometimes they say. Uh, maybe that's a G. Oh, well. Anyway, so we need we need some help with some friends, some friends on this song. So my, you know what? I think we're gonna need to have not only Yoda. Yoda, you can put down the mandolin. I don't want you to drop that mandolin. That's an expensive uh, Lloyd lore that is actually worth two hundred thousand dollars. I don't know how we got that thing, but I don't want him to drop it. Um, and we actually have another visitor today. Yoda brought his bud, the one and only Wicket. He is an Ewok, and he is a very Friendly Ewok. He is very enthusiastic about nature. And hey, hey, uh, do you like wildflowers, Wicket? Do you like to look for wildflowers in the spring? You too. Would you ever look for wildflowers with me? Could we go on a wildflower hike together? <laughs> no, Wicket. I thought we were friends after all this time. What do you think? Maybe if um, what do you think? I can bring chocolate. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so we'll go on a little a little hike sometime, but I want both Wicket and Yoda to help out with the little response for the chorus of the Wildflower Song, and this is not too tough. I bet you guys can 
pick this up pretty darn fast. It's like this. I'm going to sing the first part, and then you sing a response, and then we kind of sing together. It's like this. I go, wildflowers, and then you go, wildflowers. You'll notice how they jump in to sing that with you. And then I go, wildflowers, and you go, wildflowers. And then we together we go, wildflowers blooming in the spring. And then again, wildflowers. Wildflowers, wildflowers, wildflowers make me want to sing. See, that is pretty easy and kind of fun, right? We'll call and response. Let's try to do the whole course together once, and then I'll see if I can teach you uh, a verse or two for the last bit of time we have together. Let's try the verse to get the chorus together. Are you ready, Wicket and Yoda? They're ready. Okay, cool. You guys need like a drink of water, like a quick stretch. You don't, you don't need a break or anything. You're doing okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's, let's move it. Let's move it right along here. One, two, three, four. Wildflowers, wildflowers, wildflowers. Wildflowers blooming in the spring. Wildflowers, 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 wildflowers make me want to sing. That was beautiful. Thank you, Yoda and Wicket. So, you know what? There are so many kinds of wildflowers out there, it would take us all day to sing about them all, but check it out. Before we talk about uh, the verse, I'm going to tell you about a couple of these flowers we're going to sing about. Now, this is one I bet most of you might recognize. I picked these out of my yard this morning. If you know the name of this flower, call it out right now. You're totally right. It's a dandelion. Now, dandelions, they are one of the most common flowers to find out in your yard, in the grass, all over the place. You know what? These flowers, sometimes people call them just a weed, but you know, they're actually really good food for animals, different pollinators, and they're kind of a cool flower to have around. I think they're pretty beautiful. Believe it or not, it's not just one flower. There's actually many tiny flowers in there because it's a member of the sunflower family and they all are actually collections of lots of teeny tiny little flowers. Believe it or not, the more you know. Let's try the first verse about dandelions. Let's see if I even remember how I wrote this. It's a brand new song. So, um, <laughs> let's, try, let's, try, let's try the chorus one more time so I can get back in the groove. Ready? One, two, three, four. Wildflowers, 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 wildflowers blooming in the spring. Oh, wildflowers, wildflowers, wildflowers. Wildflowers, wildflowers make me want to sing. Let's try the first verse about dandelions. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I see yellow flowers in the grass. Dandelions are growing fast. Some people say it's just a weed. But it's food for butterflies and bees. We'll try it together, the first verse. I see yellow flowers in the grass. Dandelions are growing fast. Some people say it's just a weed. But it's food for butterflies and bees. Chorus, here we go. Wait for our assistance. One, two, three, four. Wildflowers, 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 wildflowers growing in the spring. Oh, wildflowers, 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 wildflowers make me want to sing. We all messed that one up. That's okay, guys. You know, figuring this one out. It's a new song. It's kind of a rehearsal, you might say. Uh, let's try verse two. So I'm going to show you the flowers for verse two. This is the last thing we'll probably do. We're getting a little short on time. But I picked these in my lawn this morning, too. Now they're a little droopy now. But these are beautiful little kind of whitish, purplish flowers, little yellow spots in the middle. And we have a lot of them out here in New Hampshire. And I think some of you might recognize these. They're called bluets. And look really carefully. There's clusters of them. They're very small. They've got four little petals. And I have them all over my lawn. And they are quite pretty little wildflowers. you got to look closer to really see all the details about them. So let's see if I can do uh, verse two with you about bluets. And again, this is still kind of a you know new song, a little rough. So thanks for bearing with me, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, 
Let's try verse two. Two, three. A bunch of little flowers I spy. Four tiny petals catch my eye. Purple, white, and yellow too. I sure love those bluets. How about you? We'll try that together. The same verse again. Here we go. A bunch of little flowers I spy. Four tiny petals catch my eye. Purple, white, and yellow too. I sure love those bluets. How about you? All right, singing. Let's try the chorus again. Are you ready? All right, this is going to be the big finale. So, are you, assistants, are you ready? Are you ready? I, I need some affirmation. Are you ready? Okay, they're ready. <clears throat> okay, here we go. One, two, three. Wildflowers, 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 wildflowers blooming in the spring. Oh, wildflowers, 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 those wildflowers make me want to sing. About wildflowers, 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 wildflowers blooming in the spring. Wildflowers, 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 wildflowers make me wanna sing. Thank you so much, assistants. That was super helpful. And any last words you guys wanna you wanna say? You do wanna have some last words. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, I agree. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little pollination sing along today. And there will be lyrics available uh, online at the Harris Center's website. So there'll be more information at the Harris Center's website about that, harriscenter.org. And I'm going to be leading these Wednesday sing alongs for the next, gosh, this is one of six consecutive weeks. So every Wednesday for the next six weeks at noon Eastern Standard Time until 1230. Tune on in, and I'll be here, and we'll have a lot of different songs to be singing together. Uh, next week will be amphibian songs, so things singing about frogs and salamanders and some other really cool things. So uh, I am really glad you joined me today, and I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you get outside and look for wildflowers and pollinators like bees and butterflies and all kinds of other insects and amazing animals that are buzzing and flying and moving all around us and are doing all kinds of super important jobs. You just got to pay attention and notice what they're doing. So when you see a bee, say thank you for all of its hard work with pollination and I look forward to seeing you all next time for another Harris Center Sing Along with John. I am John Benjamin, and I want to thank once again my assistants, Wicket and Yoda. And I want to thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.